Hey, Teach Me Grappling. What's up, guys? Right here, what I have for you, Gordon Ryan uh, made a post. I just got back from my vacation, my little mini vacation. And if you want to go back and read this, you can. Gordon Ryan made a post on Facebook and uh, Instagram, and I was like, damn. The man, uh, Kern Jacobs, catch wrestler, world champion. This is now Gary Tonin. I ended up grabbing these screenshots because they are just straight up comedy. Uh, Gary Tonin, this is his conversation with Kern Jacobs, I guess through like Facebook Messenger. And um, it is absolutely comedy gold. Um, I was laughing so hard that I thought I must include this. Um, and you guys can just kind of get this backstory. This is a couple years ago. So this was, uh, I believe, in 2018, and Kern Jacobs was kind of calling out, um, you know, Gordon Ryan, calling out Gary Tonin, and obviously those guys were, were making big names for themselves. And, and Kern Jacobs, as a catch wrestler, was, was doing a lot of things in, in the catch wrestling world, which is fairly small. But um, either way, uh, he was trying to call them out, maybe... maybe uh, you know, kind of leapfrog up the uh, the ladder of grappling success by either calling them out, maybe getting a match, and then it never ended up happening. And so when I was away on my vacation this past weekend, they uh, they there was a match between uh, Kern Jacobs and Quentin Rosenschwig. I don't know exactly how to say his last name, but Quentin's a, a, a Tenth Planet Black Belt. Um, I believe he was with a different gym before that, but he's now a 10th Planet guy. Um, so either way, this is just the funniest shit. Guys, if you haven't, Gary Tonin's just got a really funny sense of humor. And uh, I put this here so you guys could enjoy. Um, I thought it was very hilarious. And uh, obviously, Curran, I, I realized what he was trying to do, but... At the same time, it came across and, and pissed, pissed some people off. And obviously, Gary Tonin and Gordon Ryan don't like the guy. So they were pretty happy this past weekend after seeing what they saw. So the event was Zapatero, uh, uh, I believe, championship. And, or Invitational, that's what it was. The Zapatero in Invitational. Um, so... They had some other matches, and then the main event was Kern Jacobs and uh, Quentin. So, anyway, we're just going to, I kind of like grab their clip. I hope that uh, Sapatero doesn't get upset that I use their their uh, their clip. If you guys would like to see the event, they, they put on a pretty cool event. You can see some cool stuff, man. So head on over to their channel. I'm going to put their link down in the description box. Try to support them. Um, support grappling. And uh, yeah. So I, you know, I'm, I'm going to use their, their this match. And that way I can break it down for you guys. Show you guys what happened. What are my thoughts on the situation. I'm very, very excited about this match. Just because of the interesting dynamic of catch wrestling versus jiu-jitsu. So... As the match starts, you obviously, Kern Jacobs is going to want to, former wrestler, um, he's going to want to wrestle. And when I say former wrestler, I mean amateur wrestling, not catch wrestling. So he wants to do takedowns. Quentin says, nope, we're going to the mat. Um, looking to play seated guard, looking to snatch a leg there. Um, squares back up, and you notice Kern's dropping to his knees, trying to stay low so he can't get underneath. And nice little heavy hands, but that just gives Quentin the two-on-one. Quinn's trying to get an angle for something, maybe possible triangle, arm bar, arm drag scenarios. And using that 2 on 1 is something I really like to do as well. He starts to climb his guard up. Uh, you can tell there, Kern makes an attempt to try to get around the guard and pin. A um, little bit of an underpass, but then he retreats. And the way he's moving is really not that good. Um, so he, the, his stance and his posture is a very uh, unfamiliar with jiu-jitsu kind of posture. Right here, he's trying to control the ankles. You notice Quentin just switched arms, two-handed arm drag as I love to do, and pulls Kern off balance, starts to come towards the back. He's looking for a quick rear naked, but 
Kern's too smart for that. And he's got double under on that leg, which kind of keeps him safe right here from the choke. And as well, a triangle choke. But if you guys notice, Quentin's left hand, watch this. He's under the armpit, and he's going to grab his own shin right there. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to reintroduce Curran's left arm into the mix. And then you're going to see something nasty happen right here when he wraps onto the Kimura. So once that hand pops through, boom, he takes the Kimura, he locks his feet, and he's pulling. And poor Curran is screaming right now, and you can literally hear his rib pop. As he twists back into it, he gets triangled. So here it is again in slow motion. It's really hard to see because the referee is right there, but if you pay close attention, the Kimura is on. And now this position right here that wouldn't happen in jiu-jitsu normally, Curran, his wrestling base, he will not turn, but he's forced to turn because his rib was ripping due to the Kimura. It's not causing pain to his shoulder like it normally does. He basically is stretching the body, and it's viciously ripping his ribs and that basically pops his rib and what i heard broke his rib if you guys watch this match you can literally hear his rib snap as far as i can tell you hear him scream once and then the second time then you hear the rib snap they restart the match you can watch it in full on your own over at sapatero uh at their youtube channel um you can see he's really a you know the, the pain of his rib is killing him. They reset the triangle, and you know Curran's going to stand up and try to rip out. That's what a, a wrestler with, with limited experience would try to do. Immediately, Quentin snatches the leg, cuts the angle. You're not going to lift a guy like that, especially with a broken rib. But it doesn't matter if he had a uh, healthy rib. He would not be lifting him at that position. When you have that kind of angle, now people talk about Quentin Jackson. Guys, even Quentin didn't lift people when people had a proper angle on triangles. And most people uh, use the, the most popular situation with Ricardo Arona, but that was not a fully locked triangle with an angle. You can't just lift a guy by your neck like that. Anyway, um, here we go. They got to go two out of three, guys. So two out of three. He immediately tries to pass a pin, gives up his leg from half guard, and immediate knee bar. And Curran has just had a horrible experience at this match. And the winner's Quentin in, I don't know, like two minutes. So Gordon is talking his smack. Uh, Gary Tonin is talking his smack. And poor Curran uh, loses the match. And, um, you know, he, he, got, he got whooped. It's a part of it. Um, sometimes you get whooped. I've been whooped before and many... Many grapplers have, so it's a, it's a part of the game. But here's my takeaway, guys. Look, the catch wrestler, his posture is not correct. He's too defensive. He allowed Quentin to just get totally to his offense, was unfamiliar, and sat here while he goes for a two-handed arm drag, freezes left foot to cut an angle and pull. Um, it, that just showed a lack of understanding of ground grappling. He's so familiar with catch wrestling where they don't want to be pinned he's unfamiliar with the seated guard player so that was like a huge takeaway and it's something that i'm so frustrated with as a wrestler myself that a lot of people don't understand you don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater, but you've got to throw out some of the wrestling that is bad for you the kimura situation this should never happen guys Kern should have dropped left hip down long before this even right now he should already be turning to protect himself he turns the wrong way at the end when he's already in pain and he ends up on that left side only to be turned into a triangle uh the right leg ended up feeding the left leg around the neck and got caught in the triangle big blunder um again this kind of style right here of trying to pin and trying to run around to pin the guy ex exposing yourself not understanding inverting and getting caught in a knee bar Again, this is inexperience, and this is what jujitsu strengths are at the highest level. This is what they're good at, and I still believe that Curran Jacobs is a great grappler. He is a great grappler. He is just too unfamiliar with this high level of jujitsu. Credit goes to Quentin. Uh, Quentin's a, a, a bad dude, you know, so he deserves the credit, but 
Kern had a bad day. Sure, if his rib didn't pop, he could have done better, but Quentin caused it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Please go over to Zapatero Invitational YouTube channel and click subscribe. See you guys next time.